Species ranges are expected to be shifting upslope to higher elevations under continued climate change. As it gets warmer, they track their suitable warm climate. But um, a lot of other factors besides climate are important in shaping species ranges, such as interactions with other species, so things like herbivory when an animal eats a plant. And so I'm really interested in kind of disentangling how things like temperature and herbivory co combine to shape uh, species distribution, specifically of Arctic lupin, which is an abundant plant that we see all over uh, British Columbia mountain ecosystems. So last summer, I built uh, fencing to keep animals out and also these little mini, what are called open top warming chambers that warm the plants to look at how herbivory and temperature um, shape the elevational range of the species in uh, Manning Provincial Park and Skagit Valley Provincial Park. This research will inform how um, species ranges like iconic ones like Arctic lupin um, are or are not going to be shifting under continued climate change. Manning Provincial Park and Skagit Valley are really great in that you get really easy access to a wide variety of elevations. So you can go from like lowland forests, big dug fir forests, up to the high alpine. Um, so it's a really great way and a very beautiful area to kind of ask these sorts of questions. Well, one interesting thing we're thinking about is, uh, as I said before, we think temperature is really important in shaping species distributions, especially at high elevations where it's really cold. So it's kind of thought that these cold, short growing seasons are a key limiting factor for species. Um, but Arctic lupin in particular has a certain animal that likes to interact with it a lot, and that is the hoary marmot. Uh, it only lives in subalpine and alpine areas, and it loves to eat lupin flowers. Like a marmot can just roll through and eat most of the flowers uh, from um, a lupin population have a potentially pretty big effect. I don't have any data yet, but we're hypothesizing that maybe herbivory and species interactions might be more important than we expect at high elevations in comparison to what traditional theory predicts.